What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, just wanted to let everybody know how I um, make myself, I'm not sure what they're called, but they're, they're just new um, inner tube protectors for dirt bike tires. So if you're replacing your tire, first and foremost, if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and the alert bell. I mean, come on back, check out what we got going on. Don't forget to smash the like button. Always appreciate that. So I'll go ahead and get back to the video here. Okay, so if you guys are putting a new inner tube in when you're putting new tires on or whatever the situation is, um, if you got an old tube for the similar size, even if it's not similar size, it don't even matter really, just uh, cut the valve out and then I cut the top section, but you can cut the inner inside section and you don't really want to do the sides. I guess you can if you have to, but if you do the top section or the inside, like the, the outside or inside of the inner tube itself, just cut a strip out of that and then uh, cut it to length and then use some super glue. And what I do is I rough up the bottom side of this one, the top side of this one with a wire wheel. You can clean it or not. If it's really grimy, then clean it. And then just use your standard old cyanoacrylate super glue. And it works perfect. You just stretch it over, cut it to the, to the right length to where it's nice and snug, you know. And you got yourself a new, and I think improved because the ones that are in here are just so stinking small to begin with. Uh, new and improved uh, inner tube protector. And then you just find your holes and you just cut your, like there's one right here. All you gotta do is just take, uh, let's see. Yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with uh, two hands. Good grief. And then you just you cut a hole in it. You can pop it off. Uh, see, I'll find the other one. Do the other one as well. Just cut an X like that. And then you can pop it off, cut your hole, and be done with it. So I just figured I would show you guys that's what I'm doing. I'm putting these rims on uh, a 2003 CR85. Got some new rubber. So um, I ended up getting the back tire fitted on the new rim and on the bike. I had to do some modifications because uh, this was actually for a CR F150. So um, looks good so far. Uh, the only thing that might be a little off is the spacing, but um, either way, that's definitely something that I can fix. It looks like it's a little hair to the left. It is even, but it's just kind of like it's just moved over a little bit to the left so not a big deal i can change the spacing i have everything i need to do it um, i have a spacer on the left and then uh thin spacers on the right so but so far so good next step is i'm going to go ahead and get the old front tire off and then i'm going to make sure that everything fits up right get the spacing down and then i'm going to pop the new tire on there and uh, meanwhile, I'm going to take off the plastics and stuff. And I don't know what this is right here. It just looks like it's some type of like epoxy or something that they got on there. I don't know what was going on. But either way, I'm going to get that off of there. I don't know what condition these forks are in. Um, I'm thinking that they might need a rebuild. Um, I'm not sure, but it's all stuff I'm going to look into. I have everything to rebuild the engine. It's just got a top end kit. I'm going to clean everything out, put a whole gasket and oil seal kit on it, and then uh, rebuild that. Got a cylinder, new piston, rings. Um, I repaired the head as best I could. It's not really that bad, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, and then I'm going to take all, this, all the, the engine stuff off, and then I'm going to clean everything up real well. You can see how bad this front caliper, let's see. I mean, it's pretty nasty. It's just grimy, really, but um, that's the way this back one looked, and I cleaned it up, so. 
yeah, so make like I said, making some progress. I did put an order in. I got a, a full plastics. Uh, I believe they're UFO. I got them for like 85 bucks or something shipped, and it comes off of eBay. Comes with a number plate, front rear fenders, uh, side shrouds, side plate, and uh, the only thing it didn't didn't come with were these guards right here for the forks but i got those off of rocky mountain and then i ordered uh just a basic decal kit just to dress it up um i also got a 10 inch pad for here coming i got a new set of hand grips coming as well and so yeah i mean i think probably the only major things that i'll have to worry about as long as the trans is good to go i mean Spins good, so no worries there. As long as the bottom end is good to go, then uh, I'm just, once, like I said, I'm gonna take everything off and I'm gonna hit it down with some simple green, and then I'm gonna go ahead and power wash the whole thing. That way, it's all it's nice and cleaned up as much as possible before I put it back together. You know, because you just got a lot of grime all over the place. So, but yeah, slow and steady, it's coming together. So stay tuned for that. Just figure I'd give you guys an update on that. Okay, so we're in the process of uh, pretty much refurbishing this front brake rotor. Um, this had a lot of rust on it. It looks like there was some glazing. You can see spots right here that I've already taken down quite a bit. But you can see certain areas. They just don't look smooth enough. They still have a little bit of... I mean, it really just looks like there was galling and glazing. Like, here's a real bad spot. But what I got here is a disc like this. And then I, uh, I don't go this way. I go this way. So I hold the disc like that and I already did this side uh, turned out better uh, definitely got you know pretty good uh, a, definitely a better surface on there I know it's not perfect but you know this isn't gonna be a street bike to where it's gonna have to slow down from 70 miles out 70 miles an hour down to a red light or something so yeah okay so I'll show you what I'm doing here Some people might not approve of this, but. That's it. That's it. It's a dirt bike. It's not a high-end road vehicle <laughs> so that'll give it enough and you want to go this way inside to outside outside to inside to create a cross perpendicular um, resurfacing so when the brake pads go over it it gives it more of a friction based power you know perpendicular to the travel of the brake pads themselves if you you know this all this right here that's exactly what you don't want all right so we just popped the front brake caliper off this is after brushing a lot of the grime off 
So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this thing up so we can get it looking better. So I'll do that and be back. Calvin's doing a killer job cleaning up the forks. Good job, buddy. Those look awesome. Thanks. Doing real good. Gotta get all that grime off there. You did a killer job. It looks so good, man. Look at that. These were covered in grime. I'm gonna get the uh, card out. See if we can get all the grime out of here. I don't know if, how much fluid's actually leaked out or whatever the situation is. I'm assuming some, at least some has leaked out. So I'll just have to go from there, but don't have the new tire on, but we got the tire set up with new bearings, uh, cleaned up the seals, put new grease, cleaned up the collars, and we're going to be putting those on here next once I get the brake caliper cleaned up. We got new brake pads coming as well. Cleaned up pretty good. So I don't have the brake pads yet, so I'm just going to do a soft or soft reassembly. <laughs> but uh, this comes out pretty easily. So no problem there. Get your little plug. All right. Not bad. Cleaned up pretty good. I do you say it's almost like if. Good deal. So I'm going to slap this back on the bike. Um, I might actually fill this first. 
So I just got this little dropper here. Make sure it's clean. I want to use dot four. It's high temp. Just to be safe. I know the sleds use it, but. So that's that. There's the banjo bolt. You got your ceiling washers, one on top, one on bottom. Clean this off real good. Yeah, right, and this is a 12 millimeter. Not sure what the torque spec is, but you just want to snug it up tight. Break it and then back it off quarter turn. This is what they say. Alright, so that, and then I'm going to clean up this cable real quick. My son Calvin did a really good job cleaning these up. These forks, they look really good.
All right, that is it. So this fits on here very well. So now the next thing to do is to pop this rim off and put the new tire on here. Okay, so we got the rims and new tires fitted. Got the engine pulled, all the plastics off. She's about to get a bath. Calvin did an excellent job of cleaning up these forks. They were just destroyed. Pretty much just like this, so. She cleaned up pretty good. She's not perfect, but obviously there's some bare spots on the frame there. But other than that, she cleaned up pretty good. Um, as far as the 06, I uh, basically have everything good to go. I got a new set of grips uh, for these. I kind of chewed those up the last couple times. I wrapped the FMF Mega Bomb header because it burned a hole in my pants. So, um, and then other than that, I mean, this thing's pretty much ready to rock. All right, guys. That is it. Just figured I'd give you a little update. Uh, things are moving along. Hoping to get uh, this one out on the track uh, with Kira on it within the next couple weeks. So, all right, guys. If you aren't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and the alert bell. Don't forget to smash that like button. Come on back. Check out what we got going on. So, we'll see you guys in the next video. All right? Stay cool. Ride, ride. Stay safe. God bless. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.